Mike Burdock. He had a used car <clears throat> and lived in Omaha, Nebraska. And he read a book about investment, investing. It was by a man named Benjamin Graham. When he read the book, he was so stirred that he called the man in New York City and said, I, I long to meet you. I admired your book. Now, everybody is an investor. You invest your time in people. You invest your time in learning. You invest your time listening to a teacher. You invest your time asking questions. You invest your money. Everybody in the world is an investor. You trade something you have for something you desire. Life is 24 hours exchange. You don't decide to be an investor, you are a good one or a bad one. The first money on the earth was time, when God gave us time, hours, to exchange for relationship, time for in conversations, time to ask questions, time to read, learn, Isaiah 117. What's the first sign of wisdom in a person's life? Solomon said it was listening. A wise man will listen. When he got to New York, he didn't ask for money. He just said, I would like to work for you if you'll teach me. Your success depends on who you admire. Your success is determined by who you believe. What makes a man rich? What makes a man rich? Who he admires, who he trusts, who he pursues, whose mentorship he treasures. The difference between the homeless and Bill Gates is the voice they trust, who they're willing to listen to. Today, when he wrote that, the man was Warren Buffett, who was worth, at the time, $49 billion. He read a book. He read a book. He read a book. The richest man who lived in our generation is Elon Musk, M-U-S-K. 339 billion. He had a nervous breakdown. He recovered. And someone asked him, how in the world did you start SpaceX? How did you get into space with rockets? And he said very gently, I read a book. I read a book. I read a book. What you haven't heard, you will never learn. What you've never read, you will never know. Proverbs is fascinating because in one sentence, the richest man on the earth in seven, 4,000 years, the richest man who ever lived 
explained in one sentence why men stay poor. Poverty and shame comes to him who refuses an instruction. Poverty and shame cometh to him that refuseth an instruction. One of my church members of the Wisdom Center called me to his house. He was devastated. He was three months behind his car, three months behind in his rent of his home, and he asked me to pray over his life. Prayer doesn't make people rich. Solomon said the reason people are poor is they won't listen to an instruction. I went over to his bookshelf, about 40 or 50 books, and I said, my brother, there's no books here, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, the Magic of Thinking Big by Claude Bristol. I said, brother, you don't have any books by Bill Gates or Warren Buffett or John Kluge or Henry Ford or John Rockefeller. You don't have the, uh, brother, you don't have the art of the deal here by Donald Trump. He's worth 10 billion. <laughs> he stared at me. How much would you pay to sit with a rich man for one day, a billionaire? How much would you pay? We'll buy $30,000 cars, but how much would you pay to sit down with a billionaire? $100, 500, 1,000. How much would you pay to sit down with a millionaire for two hours? I'm just asking the question. Trying to check your your level of, of passion. If you knew you could sit down with a billionaire for two hours for $200, would you do it? Oh, brother mine. Then why haven't you bought his book for $15? trying to provoke you. I hope I'm succeeding. Just trying to provoke you. I spent 19 years, 19 years studying the life of Solomon, whose church he built was $500 million. That's how much he cost for Solomon's temple, $500 million. I spent 19 years million dollars in 19 years studying Solomon's secrets. There's 31. There's 31 secrets. First king who ever had a navy to protect his country. And I had a lady one night after church took my took my took my book Secrets of the richest man who ever lived. It's gone all over the world. And begin to argue with me. Why did I charge $15? I was her researcher for 19 years. I studied on planes all over the world. I studied on planes. For 19 years, the secrets of Solomon. And she argued with me over a $15 book. Ignorance is when you don't know something. Stupid is when you refuse to listen to those who do. Ignorance is when you don't know. 
Stupid is when you won't listen. 